Okay, so this is recording. Hello guys, welcome back once again to the channel. This is Froggy Money speaking. So in today's videos, as you can see in my screen, I'm going to be testing Hyperland with Hyperluna. Hyperluna is basically an installation script that makes your Hyperland looks better, feel better and works better. Okay, so let's begin. Um, I'm going to run first of all a fast fetch here. So the main settings, you know, the, the main uh, specs with that beautiful Kirby picture there which I'm going to close it by pressing super Q. Alrighty, so let's see here the, the ages menu. This is not wayward, this is ages. I'm going to press, for example, I'm going to do click here, and that is going to pull up a different menu that by default, you will be able to see here it is, that is going to have um, some AIs, DeepSeek, Gemini, and, and, others, and others that I forgot. But I configured this to have only the, the Google Translator. I received some help. If I go to tools, you are going to have effects, hyperland, and developer. Developer, I have no idea. I only know how. Uh, what is this for? That is going to show the FPS, of, the FPS of my monitor in order to see how they are behaving in terms of hertz. Um, hyperland in this section. Let me go ahead and open this by pressing super A, super E, or Windows E. Blur. I do click here. I do click here. Nothing happens. X-ray. Pop. Pop. Nothing happens. Um, what if I press transparency mode? Okay, that's cool. That is going to like add a, a glass effect with some transparency. But what if I disable the blur? That is going to make it full transparent. Let me tell you something, guys. This is not useful for games because that is going to force all the windows to be transparent. And if you open a game, of course, the game is going to be transparent as well. <laughs> uh, in the bottom part, we have here the colors. Uh, okay, so in the effects, dark mode, that is going to put it in white, that is going to put it in, in black. Transparency is what you saw before. Vibrancy, that is going to add like a, you see that? Like a, like a, like a small bloom effect, I say. Uh, glass transparency, I'm going to disable that. Okay, let's see here. Okay, that's the difference. And the borders are not very uh like obvious but i'm going to press super r and that is going to change the wallpaper and you can see here the borders those are the borders effects i'm going to disable that because that is going to fuck up my games which i don't want you and the updates okay we have here the updates about our our hyper luna which is cool you have here everything in your hand and i'm going to close this by pressing the same key that i use to open it windows a all right so for example if i scroll down here in this section that is going to modify the brightness obviously for notebooks and if i scroll down or up here that is going to modify the volume which is low which is actually great i love how smooth is this hyper luna um i have no idea what is this because uh, i'm just testing this actually i just installed this a few hours ago and i'm just testing it in shape and i'm going to press super q in order to close that and let's see here this so the media, we have here the media. If I do click here, you will be able to see the music menu. Um, okay, I don't have a Spotify open. I'm going to open it by doing double click. And I'm going to put this off just for two seconds. You see it here. You see it here. That is cool. I pause it and I'm going to close Spotify because I don't want to get copyright here. Um, what else? So we have here our wallpapers. We have here the screenshots where you can choose the area that you want to screenshot and that is going to be copied to your uh, clipboard automatically. This one is going to be... Oh, oh okay. I, I'm not sure what is that. I'm assuming that that is like picking up the color. Oh, yeah, the the e, the H E X color. I think that is what it's called. Wow, that's great. All right, so now we are going to the right bar. If you do click here, boom, it doesn't matter where, using the right part, that is going to pull up another uh, like window, which is uh, useful as well. We have here the audio controls, controls. We have here the notifications. You hit clear, that is going to empty that. And we have here the power profiles, which I have in performance. In the bottom part, we have calendar, we have to do, this is not going to notify you. That is going to be just like there for you to know that if you have something to do, you have to open this window and there is going to be your to-do pending. Media, that is going to control the media that we have here and same at the bottom. So we have like three media menus. Uh, the timers, okay, yeah, that, just, that's, that is just a timer. Okay, we have here, what, that is, a, oh, okay, break. What is this? Long break. I do click here and that is going to start counting down. 
uh, I'm going to delete it, delete it, delete it. Alrighty, so that's perfect. We have so far this window. We have so far this window, which I need to know how to pull it up with a key bind. Oh, all right. So I'm going to open the Nautilus and I'm going to open, for example, the terminal and I'm going to open, for example, another terminal because that is what we used to do. Okay, no, let me open visual code. Um, uh, no, that is, this is the uh, overview that is going to allow you to see your workspaces uh, that you can actually uh, add more or you can, for example, drag this here because I want to put it in the second workspace. And if I want to go to the second workspace, all that I have to do is press super and I, I'm going to press the, the numbers. I go to the number two, number three, number four, which I'm going to be showing you here. There you go. Boop, boop. In the number four, there is OBS open, that it's going to be my secondary monitor. Um, so uh, something that I like about this, and that happens in all uh, Hyperlance, is that if you press super and you do click here, uh, you will be able to drag this. All right. And if you want to like maximize or focus in a desired window, you can press uh, super F. In my case, the default one is Super D, but in my case, I modified the keybind to be in Super F, and that is going to focus or maximize without maximize without maximizing it at all the desired window. So I press Windows Super Q, <laughs> Super Q, perfect. Now, um, what is we have here? Oh yeah, let me close that. I'm going to pull up my Applications menu, which I have here. Uh, Visual Studio Code is set up by default, which is very handful because you will be able to modify your settings, uh, your Hyperland settings, and you press Ctrl S and you will be able to save it. Honestly, this is the first time that I use this. This, is, this Those are my settings for both monitors. And I'm going to press Super Q in order to close it. Now we are going to see how is the gaming performance by opening Expedition 33. So for gaming, I'm going to be playing, uh, as I mentioned before, the Expedition 33 on Heroics Games Launcher. But first of all, I need to... Um, recover my save file um pa, 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 sandful here it is so i gotta go back to the home folder now i go to games heroic prefixes edition 33 that this steam user app data here we go oh go oh. okay so i'm going to close it super q and open it Um, give me a second because I need to choose, I need to set up the, the overlay because I need, I want to show you the average of the FPS. Average, I close, I close and I close and I go back to the clear upskirt. Continue, three hours of gameplay. Ah, freaking flu. Okay. <clears throat> right we have in the top part the FPS. Uh, let me go to settings. Uh, graphics anti aliasing is uh 100%. I have everything in epic, which I have no idea why, because the best option are going to be disabling uh, like the post processing, uh, lowering the shadows. I'm going to apply the changes, yes, and ah, so much better. I have more FPS and I didn't lose too much image quality. Okay, so I'm going to upgrade my weapons. Uh, close. What is the best one that I have right now? This one. Uh, okay, I'm going to upgrade it. Okay, nice. Now I go to the next one. This girl, male, male, yeah, male, French. You know, I can't. Uh, maybe I can with this. Nope. I need the catalyzer, I think, of chroma. Ah, let's go back. Can you help me out? Resources. Uh, 
Oh, shoot. No, no, wait. I'm going to see that later. And <clears throat> let's move on. I'm going to record the HP, the health points. And okay, if I have to be very honest with you guys, uh, you seen our game in Hyperland right now with my at least with my settings, with my with my setup. Um, compared with GNOME or KDE, I don't see too much difference. The only thing that I'm losing here is the HDR because the HDR uh, on Hyperland is kind of experimental. More than GNOME, more than KDE. I tried to enable that, but I had issues. Yeah, it is basically the same performance that I have in GNOME. No forty eight. And here we go. You know, in Re Unreal Engine, uh, this is the game without patches, so I hope that they fix the performance issue that we have here because I have a 9070 XT, and as you can see there, I'm like, I cannot get at least 100 FPS in this area. Let's do a fight. Weakness. Shit. Uh oh. Let the ink flow. This is loose. You're weak, male. And it's freaking over. Okay, so guys, I'm going to close the game by pressing Super Q. And that's it. Remember, this is Hyper, Lanu Hyper Luna. And I'm going to leave the necessary link here in the description. Froggy says goodbye.